Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited, continuing with our Chromebook series. Today, I want to show you how you can connect your Android phone to your Chromebook. Now, why would you want to do that? One, you can sync chat notifications between your phone and your Chromebook. You can send files between your Chromebook and your phone. You can send and receive text messages on your Chromebook. And then you can connect your Chromebook to your phone's network. That is, you can use your phone's internet on your Chromebook. And then you can unlock your Chromebook with your phone. All right, now you will just need Chrome OS version 71 and above and then Android version 5.1 and above on your phone. Basically the latest Chromebook and smartphone and you're good to go. All right, let's dive into it. All right, so my setup is a Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Go and then I have a OnePlus 9 smartphone. So to link these two, go to settings here on the Chromebook and on the left panel, click on connected devices and then under connected devices you see here a section that says android phone which says connect chromebook with your phone so tap on setup button here and then you see that the device detected is my oneplus 9 and that is because i have signed into the chromebook and the oneplus 9 with the same google account so tap accept and continue here I'm going to enter my password here, my Google password, okay? And that is it, it's all set, so click on done. Now it's saying waiting for verification, or oh, it's now verified under connected devices. So I'm going to click on OnePlus 9 here, oh yeah, and uh, yeah, all these features available, smart lock, where I can unlock my Chromebook with my phone, instant tethering. This is where I can use my phone's internet on my Chromebook messages. This is where I can compose uh, text messages on my Chromebook. And then you see uh, Phone Hub, where I get notifications on my phone on the Chromebook. So actually the Phone Hub icon now appears just here next to the system tray and you can see I can silence my phone, I can locate my phone. When I tap on that, the ringtone goes on my phone and then I can also enable hotspot. So when I enable hotspot here, it means I can now use my phone's internet on my Chromebook. Oh yeah, and you can see it is connected and now I can browse the internet. When I come to system settings under network here, you can see that I'm connected to the internet through my OnePlus 9. Yeah, so that's really great. So on my phone here, you can now see that a hotspot has automatically been curated. Yes, saying instant tethering, providing internet to other devices here. And when I come to settings here and then come to Google here and then come to devices and sharing and then come to Chromebook, you can see that my Chromebook is linked to my OnePlus 9. And of course, you can when you click on forget Chromebook here, that means that you're disconnecting and also unlinking your Chromebook from your OnePlus 9. That is really awesome. Okay. Cool. All right, so I'm going to demo something else here. Basically sharing files between my OnePlus 9 and my Chromebook. So I have a little cute cut here that I'm going to send to my Chromebook using a feature called Nearby Share. Okay, so it's looking for nearby devices on your Chromebook. Just make sure that Nearby Share is enabled and turned on. Visibility is turned on here. All right, so on my phone, Dev Chromebook appears and I'm just going to tap on it. And yeah, on my Chromebook here now, it says that David's phone wants to send or share a file. So I'm just going to accept and voila, the file transfer starts. So when you come to system settings, uh, under the notification area, you can see that it says receiving an image from David's phone. So it takes a bit of time. Nearby Share uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, a combination of the two, depending on what is available to 
move files locally between your phone and your Chromebook. There is no internet involved here. So when it chooses Bluetooth, it's going to be a bit slower. But then when it chooses Wi-Fi, it's going to be a lot faster. So it really depends on what the system chooses. And there you go, the transfer is complete. I can come to the tot section here and just look for that cute cut. And it's right here. Oh yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, this really sums up how you can link your Android phone and your Chromebook. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give us a like, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.